What is up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a follow-up video from the last week's video, where I went to a record store and shot some portraits on film. If you want to see the behind the scenes of the photo shoot, more photos, gear I used and the story behind the photo shoot, go check that video. But there is something that I didn't mention in the last video. I also shot some portraits on my digital camera. So I thought it would be pretty cool to compare the shots from my digital camera to film camera. I also made a quiz on my Instagram to see if people can guess which one is film and which one is digital. And damn, people failed hard. Before we get into it, I need to state the differences. Well, obviously, one is film, the other is digital. Digital camera I used was Canon USR, a mirrorless full-frame camera paired with Moment's Cinebloom 20% diffusion filter. Moment themselves said that this filter gives you film-like characteristics straight out of the camera. As you will see the photos, you can be the judge of that. And the lens I used is Sigma 24 to 35 mm f2, and all the photos were shot at 35 mm focal length. The film camera I used is Mamiya 645 1000S, a medium format film camera paired with 80 mm f2.8 Mamiya Secor C lens. Film stock I used is Kodak Portra 400. Well, the obvious difference is that one is full frame camera and the other one is medium format camera. And if we convert the lens focal length from a Mia camera to a full frame format, then 80 millimeter will be 60 to 65 millimeter. So to compare that to my digital setup, that gives us around 30 millimeter difference in focal length. So yeah, that's not really a fair comparison, but Still, a lot of people guessed it wrong. Alright, let's dive in. Can you guess which one is film and which one is digital? As I already gave you a heads up on the lenses I shot with, I assume that you guessed that the one on the left is film and on the right side you got the digital. Of course, both photos are edited. I know that for some film photographers this is a very controversial topic, but yeah, I edit my film photos. Nothing too crazy, just some slight adjustment here and there to pop some color in the photos. And after editing the film photo, I used it as the reference to edit the digital photo to come as close as I can. And based on the quiz on my Instagram, I think I nailed it. In fact, 6 out of 10 people got it wrong. Which is... kinda depressing to me. Imagine spending almost 2 hours on a photo shoot to take 15 photos, go to a different city to develop the film, spend a few hours on waiting for them to be developed and scanned, then come back home, edit them, realize that I paid 3 bucks per one photo, and at the end of the day, people didn't even notice the difference between the film and digital. Yeah. But okay, not everything is as bad as it seems. From the other perspective, the fact that the first release for film camera was in 1975 and the digital camera's release was in 2018 and people couldn't see the difference between two just proves how good is this film camera. That is wild. It's kind of mind-blowing when you think about it because there is a 43-year difference between them. Or I just made the digital camera look worse than the camera from 1975. Damn, I just ran right into that, didn't I? <laughs> when I asked people which photos they preferred better, 87% of people said film. So there you go. As cliche as it sounds, Film camera gives the photo more character, they feel better. The reason why I like film better, or to be specific, this medium format setup with 80mm lens, is the look and the compression it gives. I'm really not interested in 35mm or any other film cameras, it's only this setup that I find magical for the work I do. But to be fair, and this doesn't bite me in the ass in the future, I might buy a 35mm camera just to try out the film stocks that are not available on 120 film. Another huge reason why I like film better, it's more easier to achieve the colors I want. It literally takes me a few minutes to make slight adjustments to be happy with the final result. Yeah, of course, it takes a lot more time from the point where I snap the photo to get to the editing, 
But still, I'm way more happier with the final result when compared to the digital. Also, don't be fooled by the fact that the film camera is old and can produce high quality images. In fact, the RAW file sizes from my digital camera are around 20 megabytes, or in this case, 30.5 megabytes, where TIFF scans from film is 58 megabytes. So almost five times more information when compared to the digital. This will be very politician of me, but if someone would ask me film or digital, then my answer will be that for every job there is the right tool. Like if I'm doing studio type of work, shooting photos for menu cards or shooting concerts, I would definitely take digital photos. If I'm doing portraits, then depending on the scene and mood I would consider shooting film. I think that's the biggest problem nowadays is that people like to label themselves or others. Like, oh, I shoot only film, or you are not a real film photographer because you edit your photos. I think that's very narrow-minded. Let the creators be creators. At the end of the day, it's about what you produce, not about how you produce it. And on this note, I think I will wrap it up. Let me know which photos you like better, film or digital. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram. From time to time, I make some quizzes and throw in some behind the scenes footage and smash the like button that is always highly appreciated on this channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and keep creating money